Okay, so super basic uh, little setup for getting your character to uh, an AI to walk around your character in a circle. I'll show you what it looks like. So if I just jump in my game, here's my dude with my gun and stuff, and there's a monster that's gonna spawn. Just like that, right? And if I run away from him, he's just gonna... <laughs> God, that's such an awkward walking animation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, so it's actually super easy to set up. So all you got to do is in your behavior tree. Um, this looks complicated because there's a lot of shit in here, but don't worry about all of this. Uh, this thing over here is basically just getting him to run at my character, move to current target whenever he's more than 600 units away. So don't worry about that because that's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about here. Down here, this is all you need to get your AI to walk in a circle around your character. Um, you want to use a simple parallel node and I've just created a task down here which is setting the focus on the, the target character. So when this receives an execute, um, I use this set focus node on a blackboard key here which is set to the target which is your player character so you could just plug your player character into there if you wanted um, and then set use controller rotation your as well like that and then on receive abort you just clear the focus and finish the abort so basically the way that that works is while this parallel node is running he's going to constantly be focusing on the target while he's running this tree down here and then you know you can have an abort or whatever with a blackboard condition there if you wanted to stop focusing but anyway the move in the circle thing down here on the task down here this is all you've got to put in receive execute cast a character add movement input and just input a right vector because the AI is going to be looking at the target and if he inputs a right vector he's just going to constantly move around in circles around that target because he's always going to be looking at it um, so you add the movement input for that frame and then you just add a delay at zero seconds so then the next frame it adds the same movement input and he'll just keep moving around in a circle and then when you want this to finish obviously you just you call the abort and then this whole thing just cancels um, if you want him to move counterclockwise the other way um, you just negate this vector I suppose and then he'd go back the other way because um, it's that a bit of left vector rather than the right vector um, so that's the basic setup and if you wanted to get him to you know switch directions if you hit something or whatever you could add a line trace in here to determine the direction um, yeah and I mean you can play with it and play around with the, the distance that you want him to start strafing in the circle at and etc but super easy so Hope that was helpful. Um, drop me a comment if you've got any questions.